bad day today. I broke my phone. I got to get a whole new phone. All this. I done been through a lot today. I done bought a little PS5 controller just for my phone to break hours afterwards. So, yeah. Let me try to cheer myself up with Skip Bayless. Worst takes ever. Is LeBron James a first ballot Hall of Famer right now? Without question. It's nothing to even think about. It's one of the greatest players to have ever played the game. Whatever. Okay, my, my first problem with this question before I get to you, Stephen A. Smith, is that, I, you know, I, I think that Tiago Splitter is already a first ballot Hall of Famer in the Basketball Hall of Fame because everybody gets in. I think Chris is going to get in in due time. Stephen A. Smith will get in in due time. Maybe. That's a big maybe. But I, I, I can't respect the criteria for getting into the Basketball Hall of Fame the way I can the Baseball and the Football Hall of Fame. So if I'm judging by those standards, the Baseball and Football standards, there is no way that LeBron James is already a first ballot Hall of Famer. Do, you, do I have time to go into it? I don't think he I He had nine turnovers, so I'll give you that. Hold on, hold on. Time about, time he about, was a disaster in the okay, he was still fourth in. quarter yes. of that game. A disaster. Okay, we're going to leave it right I watched it with these two lazy repaired eyes. 27, 19, Oh, please. And how was that all? I watched. You how know what awful? happened in that in fourth what world? world. Mm, well, in what world? You go are ahead, disqualified now from talking about LeBron James as MVP because after what I saw yesterday, nobody who could be in the MVP. Oh, this is that Christmas, that, that Christmas classic game. This is that game when they had the dunk contest going on. MVP conversation can get away with just taking a back seat in the fourth quarter to the other guy on his team. The MVP of the Cavs is this guy. It's Kyrie Irving. I would hate to see what would happen to LeBron without Kyrie right now because they might be closer to that team you were describing when Kyrie was there. The crazy thing is, years later, a few years later, after this, Kyrie wasn't there no more. Hey, and we seen what LeBron can do by himself. I'm sorry, but that's what we it is. Saw, no more we MVP saw talk. What Game of four year life. Pick your five. You ready? Go ahead. Okay, I told you, I, I only need really one one player on my yeah. team, and that's Michael Jordan. So, voila, here is my team, and I'm going to have you read the name, and that's Michael Jordan. So, Michael Jordan names all time best pickup team Magic Jordan, Elijah Warren, James Worthy, and Scottie Pippen. I mean, that, that's, his, that's his opinion. You know, these greats always had these opinions. Michael Jordan names all time. So, voila, here is my team, and I'm going to have you read. Read the names for me. Could you read my four teammates? Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm just in honor of you, I, I want you to read the four Tiago players. Splitter, <laughs> Rosho <laughs> Nostarevich, <laughs> Kwame <laughs> Brown. <laughs> <laughs> and Slava Medvedenko. Uh -huh. It's Stanislav, actually. Oh, get the Stanislav oh on my it. God! That is you. That's a joke on me. No, that, no, that, it's that, not. that is a joke true. on me. No, that's a that, that team could beat anybody because it's got Michael Jordan on it. I almost just put Michael Jordan solo on my team, just have a one-man show. But I thought, well, why not those those other four? Let because they're four your all-time favorite players. Let me, let me, let me treat the sport of basketball with the respect and deference it deserves. Because, clearly, you're blasphemy with that list. How could you show up on national TV and do such a thing? Oh, no. I mean, this isn't Halloween. This isn't Halloween. This is April Fool's. You know, this is April 1st. You don't it make a joke like anybody. that. It's horrible. That's a horrible, horrible selection. Nine National Football League teams that needed a quarterback <laughs> last Bro, do y'all remember the Johnny Manziel hype? Do y'all not remember when he first came out? Last night passed yeah, on Johnny Manziel, starting with the Houston Texans, who will forever regret passing on Johnny Manziel. And in a minute, I will go right down the list of teams that will forever regret passing on Johnny Manziel, who pretty soon will change football life in Cleveland, Ohio. One day, I am predicting, Johnny Manziel will become even bigger in the city of Cleveland than his buddy and business partner LeBron James ever was in the city of Cleveland.
Luke Walton was merely the son of the great Bill Walton, so that gives him some cachet, you know, and what? some respect. Not no, 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 and, and no. Luke no. Walton was a, he, just a second, Luke Walton was a starter for eight years alongside Kobe Bryant, and Luke Walton does have two rings to his credit, so he's only one short of LeBron. And Stop he, it, Skip! He, wait a second. Okay. Why'd you throw that in there? I had to. <laughs> Just for respect. And Luke Walton. <laughs> and 34% said MJ would beat LeBron James one on one right now at the age of 52. Mm. You hear that? 52 years old. They still think he can beat LeBron James right now. That's 34%. 54% say no, LeBron would win the matchup if it was one on one. Here's the kicker, though, and we're talking about a specific age group. Look at this age group. They feel that if you're between the ages of 30 and 45 years old, 48% believe Jordan would take LeBron okay. one on one. Right. So, Skip, did the American people get it right? The 34%. The 34%. I mean, and what we're saying is, can he right now at 52 years old, right beat, here, right now, beat LeBron one on one? Oh. I mean, and beyond. Oh, come on. Okay, you know, Stephen. Oh Smith? gosh, don't, don't, <laughs> don't do this. You know. <laughs> He just might be I able don't to. Do, don't do he this. just might be able to. Okay. I say that on this alone and this alone, Michael Jordan could figure a way to beat a LeBron James who just might crumble under the pressure to beat his idol, the greatest basketball player in the history of life. Okay, so I just want to make sure we got this right. Yes. Two months, just give him two months, mm -hmm. no cigars, no a cigars. diet change, yep. and trained by you yep. specifically, mm -hmm. and just with heart and head, he'd be able to do it. Those correct. would be intangible. Yep. So, he, so that makes those 34%, okay. that's a high number. So that makes agree. them correct. Uh, okay. I'm about to put Paul George in that category. I'm starting to cleaner? see. Yes, I'm starting to see. Okay. By today's standards, cleaner capabilities wow. from Paul George. And if I might, I'm also seeing them south of San Antonio in the city of Houston. James Harden is a bad man who is leading that basketball team in fourth quarter after fourth quarter after fourth quarter. I, I'm close to putting him in that category above Kevin Durant. I'm, this is all above Kevin. And the, the reason I can't...